Did you know that Canva has free transitions that you can use for your YouTube channel? Today, you're going to learn about all seven of them, including the two that you've already seen in this lesson. Let's start off on the Canva homepage to select a video editor document. This will give you the tools that you need to make the transitions. You can also choose a vertical one for YouTube Shorts. Click the plus button to add a second page. I searched audio file in the elements tab to find two different things for this project. On page one, I'll add this yellow wave animation sticker. And on page two, I'll add this wave video and right click to set image as background. The first way to reduce the timing of a clip is by going to the beginning or end of a clip to left click and bring the clip to the length that you would like. The second way to reduce the timing of a clip is by clicking the video or animation and looking at the top. This one says 12.6 seconds next to a scissors icon. You can make adjustments here by typing in how long you want your video clip to be. You can even move the bar to what part of the video that you want to see by left clicking and dragging it around. Click done and you will notice that at the bottom of the timeline, it is shorter than it was before. Click the plus button between the two clips. This will pop up two options, add a page or add a transition. Click add a transition. Your left hand panel will open up with the seven options. Let's look at the dissolve transitions without making any adjustments. You may want to make this transition longer. Left click your mouse and move the duration slider. Depending on what you have on your first and second page, you may want to adjust the duration to the max seconds allowed. Let's look at the same video clip again. Canva has a transition called slide. I love to use this transition, especially in intro hooks. You can change the direction to go left or right. You can also make it move up or down. Splitting audio clips for YouTube has been made easier in Canva. After you learn this new feature, you'll be learning how to add a new audio effect too. If you are finding value in today's Canva tutorial, please remember to hit the like button. It shows me that you love lessons like this one. We will use two images to show you how a circle transition can give two static images more interest for your viewers. Just like the slide transition, you can change the duration and direction. We have four more transitions to go you can adjust the line wipe transition just like the others by altering the duration and direction. You can move it to the left, right, up, or down. Just like some of the others, I actually prefer for it to go a little bit slower, especially if there is text on the screen like this example here. Match and move is actually a beta transition. Let me know if you have this transition. You only have the ability to change the duration of this one, but it is really fun. Stack is another neat transition. I find this one really fun for when you are wanting to share a lot of photos with your viewers. You can simply add a bunch of photos to a video editor in Canva, add the stack transition in between each photo. If you want a tutorial about how to create a video collage of images and music using the stack transition, leave me a comment asking for a comprehensive stack tutorial. Chop is the final transition before our knowledge nugget and 
I really love this one because not only can you change the duration and direction, you can also change the origin of the starting point. Watch each one of these. The top left. The top right. The bottom left. And the bottom right. I love using this one on my YouTube community tab. Today's knowledge nugget is all about how to apply the transition across all of your design pages and a trick on how to vary it just a little bit. You're going to go click the plus sign and add your transition. Here you can choose whatever transition you want, but make sure that it is the one that you would like to apply across all of the pages. Let's choose circle wipe. Here we can go ahead and change the duration and the direction. But what I want you to notice is here, there's a little icon that shows me circle wipe. And here there's a plus sign. And here there's a plus sign. If I click apply between all pages like this, it changed all of these transitions to that same thing. Now, There'll be a circle transition here, a circle transition here, and a circle transition here. What if you want this one to go out instead? You just click that plus button or click the transition, change transition, and then you can change it out. In, out, back in. If you want to know more about how to use Canva for YouTube, make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye!